Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening, I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. We hope you're enjoying the game. Elmira police arrest a man they say struck an officer with his car yesterday. 35-year-old Billy McGinnis is charged with first-degree attempted murder. Police say around 4.30 yesterday afternoon in the area of Partridge Street, McGinnis accelerated at an officer who was on foot trying to conduct a traffic stop. After striking the officer, McGinnis fled. That officer was treated for non-life-threatening injuries. 2018 Democratic congressional candidate Tracy Metrano has announced she will seek the 2020 nomination for the 23rd Congressional District. Metrano, who ran against Republican Congressman Tom Reed, stated, quote, the last Democrat to win this district did so on his second run, and now I understand why. Metrano is launching her 2020 campaign with a thank you tour of events. Now to a winter storm warning and just how much snow we might see. Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Summers. Hey, Scott. Yeah, definitely seeing that winter storm warning continues. Snow continues to fall across the Twin Tiers. Our future radar shows the snow continuing here as we head into the overnight hours. And as we get to early tomorrow morning, here's our future radar getting the snow kind of out of here pretty early tomorrow morning. But again, a few snow flurries or light snow showers still left over even by 4 o'clock in the afternoon. But the heaviest of snow should come overnight tonight and early into your Friday. Looking right now, we may see up to 6 inches, maybe possibly as much as 12 inches in some areas. So our snow potential, again, that area in dark blue, which is from Syracuse all the way down here in the Twin, uh, twin Tiers and actually getting all the way down to parts of Pennsylvania. is where you could see as much as 12 inches of snow before it's all said and done. The cold weather hangs around, though, will be in the 40s for highs on Friday. Another system moves through Saturday, Sunday, back in the upper 30s Sunday. And looking like we'll keep some cold weather around next week, too. Another chance of some light snow by Tuesday, a high of 34. Thanks for watching. We'll get you back out to the game.